Hello and welcome to tutorial number 31. Uh, when we released Community Builder 2.0.3, one of the features that uh, basically creeped in, because it shouldn't really be a feature in a point release, in a maintenance release, but anyway, it was kind of easy to implement and internally we kind of said, you know, it was really missing, it should have been uh, in CB 2.0, so we pushed it in. Uh, the same thing with the second feature here, the menu page class. But we had promised a tutorial here. So the feature basically allows us to easily have CSS override files for our templates, for our community builder templates. And let me show you how this is done without replicating the entire community builder template plugin. So uh, let's just look in the back end of Community Builder. I filtered templates and in, in addition to the default template, I have installed something called an example template. And we'll see what this looks like and I will post a link to the forums where people can actually download this sample, this example template plugin and use it as a starting point for their own template overrides. So this is what it looks like in the plugin area. And in the backend area of our website, let's just see what this looks like here. Plugin templates, besides the default template plugin, there's the example template plugin that we installed. And basically we see it has an XML file, some images for avatars, for canvas, and for the title background on the registration page. Uh, you can override these by just changing any one of these images if needed. But the, the whole concept is this override CSS file. If you look at the default template, we see there are a lot more files here. There's a whole bootstrap, some PHP code, fonts, font awesome, and so on, jQuery. Uh, we're, we're not we can basically clone this and make changes if you want, but if we just want to override some colors and add some more styling uh, in addition to the default, we don't need to replicate this. We just install the example template and make changes to the override CSS file. Uh, the changes I have made here, just uh, let me just bring you my editor here. Let's open the override file here. So, if you look at the override file, override.css file, we just have some classes here. And basically, you really need to know CSS to do this. I'm not a CSS expert, so I'll just interpret uh, what we have here. Basically, we have a red background for tabs. And that's what this is when editing the tab, basically. Uh, we have a blue background here for the navigational nav, nav tabs and we have we're basically for our user list we're alternating between a red background and a blue background this is what this CSS styling basically should do so we have that in place the plugin is published. Uh, nothing, uh, let's just see what it looks like before we actually activate it because it's not active yet. We'll see how to activate it. If I edit, tabs look the way they do. Okay, if I look at my member list, it looks normal. So if I go back now to Community Builder Configuration and go to my user profile tab and instead of the default template we actually select the example template and save now if i go and refresh this we'll see well, it's it's kind of awful but <laughs> you see the the effect basically i have red and uh blue alternating lines and if we go to our user profile and do an edit 
we'll also see this blue tab selection here. Okay, uh, hopefully those of you who know CSS will take advantage of this. Uh, otherwise, you would basically have to inspect elements and see what the CSS code is for each element and just add whatever you want in the override files. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Talk again again soon. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.